Hello everybody and welcome to the Oracle Studios and in this video we're going to be taking you through a, a typography design in Adobe Illustrator and um, but we aren't actually going to well, this is the typography design that we're going to be taking you to three three different colors and two different types it's a very similar but just different a little bit different we're going to be using the front stay outside and um, I'm here with both Basil and Abdul Mahmani. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. And um, yeah, so we're just really going to be talking, and you can follow along the video, I'll put the video and listen to us talking um, about uh, various different topics in, to do with design. For some reason, um, when it comes to illustration designs, when it comes to illustrations and designs, not illustrations, so typography designs and posters, these kind of designs don't look good with square, what are they called, square fonts or line fonts. Mm -hmm. They only really look good with, with squarely fonts. And then the, the kind of the kind of designs you do with square fonts don't really look good, good with squarely fonts. And then there's designs that you can do with both, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, um, um, for the record, to move the um the p the pixels of the offset up, just hold the up arrow key, click the up arrow key, and it will the pixels will go up. I did fifteen pixels. A lot of our typography look just the blue, blue and yellow always win a color when they go together. A lot about poster and typography design is colors. Obviously, it's the design as well. The design can't look cr crap, it can't look rubbish, but a lot of it is to do with the um, the colors as well that we use. You can't use them, like, if you, even if I was to do this design and use a black on a blue, it wouldn't look good. I'm actually going to try it. I'll try it and I'll upload it and, and we'll see how it looks, but I think yellow and blue always go together. And a lot of that, all kinds of design is change. Whenever you're designing, you're always going to change it. Do I find that I always do that all the time? Look, I gave it 15 pairs, and I've given it more because that's just how a design is. Sometimes it doesn't look right, it doesn't look how you want it to look. So you always have to just um, embellish and improve. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pen tool to go around these spaces and block out the spaces so there's no yellow in between, just fully blue. Then I'm going to use the, 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 path, the path tool and I'm going to join, I'm going to unite the background with, the, uh, with the, the pieces of tool that I made. Sorry. So, Adraman, you do, I know you like to do typography design, you did the first typography tutorial, so how about you tell us uh, what kind of typography design you prefer and like doing? Well, most typography designs, I wouldn't say similar, but they have the same sort of effect in them. Like, this is the talk about the first tutorial I made was the lit effect that was made with a font that moved feedback and it was it was a very nice style that I liked and like you said if it was made of another font a round and swirly font that wouldn't have looked as good as it did look true I, hmm I really prefer some typography designs made in a swirly font. I prefer, I find the process of making them more enjoyable than with a square font. Yeah, I know. I what you mean. the design of a swirly font, like it's more creative. It's more pleasing as well. When yeah. you finish doing all your work and the square font, it depends. Unless you do a really amazing design, but when you do it with a swirly font, you can you you get to see the fruits of your work 
mm. as you're growing on and it just looks amazing all the way through. And yeah. it, it's hundred percent what you said with um using doing the glitch with this font would look terrible. It would look oh, terrible. Yeah. But the doing it with the B bass, it, it was it was really good. Mm. And I, that's what I like as well. I like with uh, typography designs is a lot of it picking the font. Yeah actually get stressful sometimes but once you get the hang of it it's actually quite quite mm. good yes i understand mm. i like the way when you're making it you can actually see it growing and it's just getting better every second of the way i especially like the i spoke with these that I especially like these type of typographies when the 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 text is the same color as the background and it has a different color border like this 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 kind of around it. It makes it look 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 crazy. Also the highlights. I mean I love yeah. doing highlights. Love doing highlights love on the it. typography test. No matter even if if I didn't do the typography test, I will text, I will come in and say, let me, let me do the highlights. I love doing highlights. Like the, what the, what, the uh, what I'm doing with the pen tool at the moment and what I'm going to do with the pen tool and um, in between the lines. Mm. And uh, if you want a voiced tutorial of this design, then it is coming straight away. Just comment down below and we will give it to you. The highlights probably one of the most fun part. Definitely. It's really what builds the design. And right now, it's looking so plain in the end. Mm. The highlights added. The highlights, even if you don't put a gradient on the highlights, it's like it's, it's like it's card on the standard. It's like it's going to shine. Me especially, I don't like doing the highlights. I don't like doing the highlights. But... I don't like doing the highlights, but when the highlights are there, when it's white, yeah, like it said, it said, looks like the, the word is shining. It it got this this bubble effect. To it. Yeah. You can really experiment with the colors of the highlights that you're going to do, but usually the inside highlights will be a light color or white, and the outside highlights will be a dark color. Uh, they're not really highlights on the on the outside. With the the stroke, we've given it a stroke that has pointy edges and a thick middle, so it just it gives it the kind of curving effect. Go to the stroke, stroke tool, make it 3px, and now that looks really nice. And it will look even better after we put it the the highlights on all, all the letters of the text. This is what I'm talking about when I say you can see it building up step by step. It's already looking better. It's only one letter, so it's not good enough. We're going to use the pen tool and go near the edges of each letter just to um, give them all this, the highlighted effect, which will more than look good. So I've skipped all the way till we've done all the, all the text except for this piece over here, all the text, and we're going to give, we're going to select all the paths 
that we made with the pen tool, all the lines, and we're going to make the weight three, uh, um, and we're going to make give them a thick middle and pointy edges. And you'll see when we zoom out after having having done this chain, it's going to look it's going to look amazing. I don't I don't actually like the word amazing. So I know this sounds weird, but I never say the word amazing unless I'm doing tutorials. And I don't even say amazing on day to day to day basis. Amazing, it's just not a word I use. Amazing. That's not something I use. Do you use amazing? No, not really. It's three too thick. Let me see. Ah, oh, three is good enough. Look at that. You can already see the effect that we're trying to get. Okay, that brown effect, like it's an object, real 3D object. Yeah. What I want to do is just add some more of those outside highlights. Just one in the in this, one in the on the bottom middle, one on the top middle. Just um, yeah. Which patterns? Uh, it's really because people they do these kind of typography posters in Photoshop. I just think it's just hard. Like, it's not hard. Like it can be done. But I just prefer doing these, um, doing it in Adobe Illustrator. And we're just going to do one at the top. Another thing why font is a really important thing in the typography design is these highlights on a font like Bebas. It will give it the same 3D effect, but it will look way much better on a, on a design like this. So you have to think of another style for a font, a square font like Bebas. I'm going to say for square font, do you know the outside highlights? They look really nice square, but these inside highlights, mm. they're the best when they're curved. But when, you, when you're using a font like Bebas, you can do the out. What I'm about to do now, what I'm going to show you, uh, is um, another way of doing outside highlights, and yeah. that that is is amazing when you're using square fonts. Yes, yeah, really works. So just duplicate the design. You can do this with a square font, square font, this, this type of design looks good on all fonts, most fonts, not a line font, if you don't want a line font, it's just a little you copy the line font and just put it next to it, which we'll do in another video just to show you how that looks, so if you do it white and change the colours, it actually doesn't look that bad, oh yeah, so we've duplicated it, uh, sent it to black, pasted it in black, and then we move the top layer right twice and up twice and that, that looks like a design all in itself mm. but um yeah and what we're going to do we're going to see what we're going to do now is we're going to copy it Group it and we changed it white. That looks nice. That looks actually nice. But that's not what we're looking for at the moment. And then we put it like that. And we sent it backwards. We just need.
that's what we're looking for. And we're going to lower the opacity. It's really looking nice like that too. Yeah, there's so much different ways you can do when you're doing typography design. There's so many quick stop points, like so many yeah. times where you can stop. So many different ideas and creativity things you can do with typography. There's no end to the creativity of it. Yeah, there is. Now, so we're going to give it 20, and that looks superb. Absolutely superb. I never say superb. Ever. But that looks. That looks now I'm going to say that looks amazing. I'm going to use the artboard tool to duplicate the artboard and make another artboard so I can make another color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the yellow one without the, the um, outlines that we just done. And we're going to put, we're going to get some colors and different colors. I'm going to come back. Here we have three colors, and we're going to change the color palette of this from yellow to a blue color palette. And you can see the, the shininess, the swerveness, the curliness, it just mm. comes out more with blue. Yeah. A lot more with blue. Blue is actually a very nice colorful type of blue today. Yeah. I'm going to select these outer um, outlines and just change the color. It's looking good. And this was our first episode of our podcast. Less than a podcast. This is really just just to show you how we work, we sit down, we we work and we talk at the same time. We don't just we're not we do focus on our work otherwise we wouldn't be able to have the amount of um quality in our work that we have. But um this is um obviously we will do some more podcasts where we'll talk about more related issues related to um the design industry. But I hope you all have a very, very um, good day, and um, we will be signing off in one minute after we change the color to a pink palette. Just copying that hex code, pasting it in. And there's our pink palette. Comment in the comment section down below which one you think is best. Like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if there's any other kind of video that you would like to see, be sure to give us a shout out. And we're definitely ready to make that video. Goodbye.